Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Friday. Yes, it is Friday. It's Friday, December 23rd. So it has been a day, let me tell you. So first, I did not do any stitching last night. I did do some diamond painting though. I will take you over there and show you that. And if you can see, he put the bookshelf together. No, Bill did. I give him all the credit. All I did was hold things. He did all the attaching and all of that. So the last piece of the puzzle is putting the decal above that, which we're actually going to do tomorrow instead of waiting until January 1st. Um, I talked to Bill about it and he thinks the paint is cured enough that the decal will stick and it'll be fine. And I have it right here. Ha ha! So, and it's bright pink. So I can't wait. So we're going to do that tomorrow. Uh, my gratitude list. So, number one, electricity. Um, Bill and I got up this morning and I got good sleep last night for, you know, I hadn't really slept that well in a couple days. Got good sleep. I actually came upstairs and climbed into bed with him and we were on our phones and tablets and all that for a little bit, just talking and chatting and all that. And then we got up, we went to the grocery store, which it was busy. I'm glad we went there. When we were in there, it started snowing its ass off. Um, we have had extremely cold weather here. And today it has been extremely windy. It is bitter, bitter cold. It is gonna get down into like a negative wind chill tonight here, which we normally don't have that kind of weather. So we were in here, so we came back from the grocery store and we had planned to go to Walmart because Bill needed some jeans and we planned to go to Aldi. Bill wanted to check it out because we went over to our friend's house last night and they had like a cracker and cheese plate set out for us and one of the crackers, I was like, I love this cracker. Where did you get it? And she said, Aldi. So Bill's like, well, maybe we'll go tomorrow and check it out. So we came back from the grocery store, put all that away. And he said, well, let's put your bookshelf together. In the middle of putting that together, our electricity flickered and then it went totally out. So he was like, okay, well, we're definitely going to go to Walmart and Aldi and do all that. Walmart was insane. It was, I mean, and of course we knew it was going to be. I found the crackers at Aldi. They are similar to Triscuits. That's how I like to think of it. And they're the cracked pepper ones. Man, they're good. And the boxes at Aldi are only $2.49. Well, I bought two boxes. So I was so thankful. You don't realize how much you value electricity until you don't have it because we weren't planning to go out and get lunch. We were gonna eat something here. Well, no electricity, no microwave, right? And then I had had laundry drying. Couldn't do that. Yeah, it, it makes you truly, truly appreciate electricity. So we left, we were gone for a couple hours. When we came back, the power was back on, yay! So we were very happy about that. Um, number two on my gratitude list is Bill. Always, Bill's always going to be on that list somewhere every single day. Um, we put together the bookshelf. So I'm going to flip you around and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Ah! Can you even right now? It's a little darker than it's showing in the viewfinder. So there's my DMC chest. My two containers. I have all my sulky threads in there. I'm going to leave those three open because I plan on finishing some cross stitch into like flat folds and stuff, stuff that I can put in there. Why not? Right. Then I have the wonderful Monopoly, um, junk journal that Marianne made me all my other junk journals, then my Bible and my journal that I'll keep there. Then I have my bead buddy thing. And then those are all my Stephen King books on the bottom. And when I put them all in there, I had one that I couldn't fit, so Bill and I sat there and we finagled it, you know, moving books around so I could get them all in there. Oh my God, it's so fantastic. 
I love it so much. So the decal is going to go on the wall above that. It's as wide as the bookshelf. So I can't wait because that is literally the last thing. And then this room is done. It's done. Um, besides my seat cushion, my chair cover, I ordered, I got the chair cover in today and I don't like it. I don't like the way that it fits. It doesn't fit as good as the other one. So I went on that company's website. I'm returning the, the chair cover that I have and getting a new one. So that'll be here next week. But with this bookshelf, so you could have ordered this with another panel on the bottom that sat flat, but you see the legs, what we had to do, it was quite wobbly. They want you to anchor it to the wall. We didn't want to do that. So we have these furniture sliders we put on it and it's totally steady now. I'm actually going to leave a review on Amazon for this bookcase and taking a picture of it and showing those furniture things on the bottom because some people bought this and obviously with those kind of legs, it's made to go on like hardwood floor, but this is carpet. And that helped so, so tremendously. It looks so fantastic. I, I love it so, so much. This room really turned out so utterly fantastic. So let me show you my diamond painting. Oh, and I also am going to get with um, Christmas money, I'm gonna get for the back of the door that I'm gonna actually use with a 3M hook, um, an organizer that holds Cricut vinyl rolls. Because what I want to have happen, like, I'll be able to put a diamond painting here, a diamond painting, probably two here, um, one or two here, and probably one there. Well, eventually, if I get crack a lack in and get some of these diamond paintings done, I'm going to run out of room. And I want to be able to switch them out. You know, I'm going to try to use the magnetic picture hangers. And then, so to store the other ones, I want to be able to roll them up, diamonds facing out, and I want to be able to put them in an organizer. So the Cricut Vinyl Organizer, I think, will work fantastic. But let me just like, okay, start here and just like show you the whole room. There's my, that's where my printer and my like coloring stuff is in here. And then the closet. My diamond painting table. Then my crafting table. Then the window with the curtains, the Ikea cart that I have my coloring stuff in, and then the bookshelf. It turned out so wonderful. And then on the floor, I have this rug right here. Now, the chair cover that I ordered, it is like a burgundy with like white flowers. I think it's gonna look good. Yes, I know it's not pink. I think there's enough pink in this room. I think it's gonna look good with the burgundy. I don't care if it matches or not. I'm not that like, the chair does match the rug though. Yeah, but I think it'll look good. I still think it'll look good with the, um, the burgundy rug. I could always, if I wanted to, because there's two other rugs out there, if I really wanted to, I could probably put the navy blue rug that's out there in here. That would go with teal. It would go with, then it would go with the burgundy colored seat cover too. So I'll have to think about that. I might change out the rugs. I have three rugs out there. A navy, this color, and then the a teal one. A teal that's more like blue. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I really like... I wanted the flowered seat cover so much. And like I said, I don't like the way that it fits. But when I saw the burgundy one with the flowers, I was like, ooh, I love that. Yeah. And, you know, everything goes together. I mean, look, this is all colorful right there. I, I, I love color. I am not concerned with everything having to be matchy-matchy. Actually, here's a good indication of what it's going to look like because that's pink and the candle is like burgundy. So yeah, it'll be fine. It'll look fine. It'll look great. But didn't the room turn out so utterly fantastic? And to put together the bookshelf, it didn't take 20 minutes like they said, but it didn't take more than an hour. It actually seemed very, very quick. 
And I just love that I'm able to, this bookshelf came together in my mind's eye, how it, how I wanted it done. So I'm so very pleased with that. Okay. The diamond painting. So I did get done. Let's turn on the light. I got done this section over here and I got all the black done in this new section right here. So very, very pleased with that. And you can see the new way that I'm now putting my diamond painting. I'm using just three pieces of decorative duct tape. Um, a lot of you said that you use painter's tape. Can I lay the sticker under your rug so it'll be flat for tomorrow? Oh yeah. He just, Bill just texted me and said, lay the decal under your rug so it'll be flat for tomorrow. Good idea. I will even pull out some Stephen King books and put on top of it. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I got done all the black in this section. And soon I'm going to be, I think in this square, I'm going to be getting to her face. I've had a lot of questions and I will really try to link it, link it down below where I got this release paper. It's from a seller on Etsy. And she has a bunch of different designs. Like she even has Christmas paper. Um, it was a pack of 25 sheets. Yeah, I'll link it down below. I actually save these. When I peel them off, I put them back in the envelope they came in. So I'll reuse them for another painting. But I am so utterly pleased with everything in this room. Everything we have done and just how it's come together. And I had so much fun in here yesterday, diamond painting. So when I was in here diamond painting, cause I diamond painted for a long while after the paint with me, all of a sudden my phone's like ding, ding, ding. And I'm like, what is that? Jill sending me my Christmas gifts. She got me three different gift cards. One for Voodoo, which is V-U-D-U, -U, which is used to be Fandango and they merged. You can rent movies. Fantastic. Love doing that. She also got me an Etsy gift card and she got me a Starbucks gift card. So I said, perfect. Coffee, crafts, and movies. How, how much better can you get, right? So I was able to immediately add the Etsy one to my account and the Starbucks one to my account. And there's a Starbucks actually across from the grocery store that Bill and I went to this morning and he stopped. So I got a coffee. And... Okay, so still going through my gratitude list. So number three on the gratitude list are friends that I haven't seen in a while. So the friends we saw last night, we have not seen since August. It was such a nice visit. I really forgot how much I enjoy their company. Their house is beautiful. Um, we went over there and we were there for about an hour and a half, I want to say. And like I said, that's where I found those crackers from Aldi. And they're just... We're going to try to go to dinner next week, I think. They're just wonderful people. I, I love them so much. And um, number four on my list is Christmas cookies. Because the wife of the couple that we saw last night um, is a baker. She used to own a bakery. So she is a phenomenal cook and a phenomenal baker. And when we got over there, she was like, oh, I made you guys these. They made a ton of Christmas cookies, so they packaged us up some. So, of course, last night when we got home, because we hadn't had dinner when we left there. We went to the Mexican restaurant, which was Chef's Kiss. But her cookies, I messaged her. She made these peanut butter cookies. Oh, I would have loved my whole container to be peanut butter cookies. Mm-hmm. It was that good. So I told Bill, maybe we can switch. <laughs> because I'm not a, a, a huge fan of, like, snickerdoodle cookies, and some of those are in there. So I was like, will you switch your peanut butter cookies with my snickerdoodle? He probably won't. Once he tastes the peanut butter cookies, he's going to die. So they were so good. So very thankful for that. Um, number five is a home. I'm so thankful for our house and that I have a home to come into and rest and be warm and have food and have clothes and be able to do my crafts. Because let me tell you, it is so bitter cold outside and outside of Aldi, there was this homeless woman and I teared up a little bit. I, I have sympathy for people that I see out like that, especially in the temperatures that is in today. 
Um, Bill actually gave her a couple dollars. I didn't have any cash. Before we got out of the car, I was looking at my wallet and I forgot I didn't carry my purse. My cell phone has like a card thing on the back of it. I didn't have any cash with me. So he gave her a couple dollars though. So hopefully that helped, you know. And then number six, TikTok. If you have ever been on TikTok, you will know it is so easy to go down the rabbit hole <laughs> of watching TikTok videos. I watched some yesterday and I just, I laugh my ass off because I am trying to be a much different person with my mannerisms and the way that I communicate with people. And, but watching some of those videos, you speak to my soul, really, right? Um, there were two videos about printer issues and I laughed so hard. I follow that woman now, but I sent them to my mom because my mom has had printer issues like I have in the past and it's the videos were just so comical. The ones where it's the same person, but it's like they talk, they're two different people. Do you know what I mean? So hilarious though. I also wanted to thank another subscriber on here who sent me a Sephora gift card, Mary Bazoyan. Mary, I, I know I thanked you by message, but thank you so very much for the Sephora gift card. I will be using that. I My eyeliner comes from there that I get, so I will definitely be using that. I can't wait. I love Sephora makeup. I love makeup. I love high-end makeup. I don't necessarily love the prices to pay for it, but it is worth it. If you buy quality makeup, it is absolutely worth it. Okay. Two more things and then we're done. Number one, two, um, one uh, Facebook group that I wanna mention that I will link down below. It is called Kate Stitcher Cross Stitch. So Kate Stitcher, and I don't think that's her real name. Her real name might be Kate, I don't know. But she is a designer who works for like World of Cross Stitch. She works for the Cross Stitch magazines and I think she even does some stuff for DMC. She made a Facebook group and it came up in my recommended feed. That's how I saw it. But she puts free cross stitch patterns out there and they're like of mugs. And they're so small and cute because I have so many. I have two big baskets full of those finishing forms I bought at Michael's and the Dollar Tree. I want to start stitching some smalls and get, get things on those. So, excuse me. So, I plan on stitching some of her things in 2023. They're so cute. They're gonna be so, so cute. So I'm gonna link that down there for you guys if you wanna check that out. And then I want to uh, give a shout out to a new YouTube channel that I've been watching, um, Richard at Real Men Craft 2, T-O-O. -O. Um, he is a diamond painter, but I think he does other crafts, but he does mostly diamond painting. And again, he came up in my recommended feed when I was watching someone else's video. He's funny, I like the way he talks, he shows all the stuff. Um, I just really, really like his aesthetic of his videos. So if you like diamond painting videos and watching other people, I will link him down below also. Um, I think he is just shy of a thousand subscribers or he may have just hit it. So go check him out and subscribe if you would like to see more of him. And yeah, that's all I got. Um, like I said, we're gonna do the decal tomorrow. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. We don't really have plans. I have a massage in the morning at nine o'clock. But besides that, well, we gotta be at my mom's at 5.30. We will exchange gifts over there and we're going to Texas Roadhouse for dinner. And then we're gonna ride around after that, look at Christmas lights. And then we'll be home. And then Christmas day, I mean, it's here. It's, it's here folks. So I hope all of you have a Merry Christmas and a very good weekend. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.